In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the coolest things that I came across in the AI 3D space. So let's get into the video. The first project is called Skybox Labs. I will link all these websites in the description so you can access them from down there. So once you visit the website, you just have to write a small prompt and it will convert the prompt into a 3D world basically. So there's one catch, you cannot move in the 3D world at the moment because it's uh, kind of a new technology. So this was a, a spaceship with some view of the space with a long corridor and this is what it came up with. Now let's try a few other prompts and see what it generates. First I wrote something very simple, red soil of Mars with some mountains and hot atmosphere. You can also select these options from right here. For the timing I've selected digital painting, fantasy landscape. Let's select fantasy landscape and you have a limit of uh, around 450 words but here I've just written 55 words. The more details you'll add in your prompt the better your 3D world will be. So let's click on generate and see what it comes up with. And look at this 3D space, it looks really amazing. You can do a lot of things with this. It is basically a depth map of an image already created. And I can maybe take it in Blender or Cinema 4D and create something really amazing with it. That video also will come in the future so stay tuned for that. You can also change the themes from right here. Uh, and let's see what it generates if we click sci-fi. By adding the term sci-fi. We got this kind of uh, some futuristic vehicles, some spaceships in the sky, a rocket flying from earth and all these kind of things. Now let's try adding some interiors into the prompt and see what it generates. This time the prompt I have written is a wooden cottage in the middle of the woods with a fireplace, a lot of old decoration, it is night time and the room is dark. And this we should I think select maybe realistic and then let's see what it comes up with. The generation looks pretty decent. It's not that bad. Looks pretty nice. Uh, it can be used in a set or some game maybe. If in the future you can move around in the space and you can copy the space into a 3D software. I think it would be really good. To use it in different projects. Now let's try downloading this and see what the image looks like. So let's download it and open the image and this is what the image looks like. It looks like the image has been taken through a 360 camera. The next prompt that I wrote was a city on moon with a dome shaped structure futuristic vehicles and the theme that I selected was sci-fi and this is what it came up with and it looks really nice. Now let's try changing the theme from sci-fi to dreamlike and let's see what it comes up with. And this is what it came up with after selecting dreamlike. These atmospheres are really actually very nice and it would be good if we can use it somewhere. Because I have a lot of work to do with these kind of atmospheres and I can create something really creative in some of the softwares. I'm trying to figure out a way to use this in uh, some projection maybe. Let's see. Once again, if you want to download or use this uh, skybox, just go in the description and there's a link that you can access it from. The next project is called opus.ai. It converts text into movies, games, metaverses and worlds. You can visit the website in the same way by going to the description down below. Now let's watch the demo video. In the demo video, the person is writing a small prompt, the hills roll down in stepping motion covered with greenery and there is a natural environment that is being created exactly looking like the prompt and then he added some trees on the same prompt and then he added some snow and whatever he's writing is being added in the scene and these scenes can be used in games, environments, they can be used in animation movies. In this example, he started writing uh, the recently built road came to a halt only furthering slightly into two opposite directions. At the end, narrow road, a much larger house with two floors stood alone. 
and then he ha- he's adding some houses in the scene then he's adding some trees then cars some more roads and this is what you can get your hands on if you go and join the waitlist right now he ha- he added some electric wires some pillars some barriers in this part of the example he is added an abandoned city with some pit holes some water some buildings and whatever he is writing is being added in the scene so i'm really personally excited to get my hands on this because it seems pretty interesting if i get my hands on it and now i'll show you how to get on the waitlist so to get on the waitlist of this project you need to go back to the home page and then click on get early access please enter your email so once you enter and click your email and you can click on this arrow once you click on the arrow you will receive a message awesome thanks for submitting your email we'll notify you as we roll our invites in the coming weeks the next project is by nvidia in this project nvidia explained how chat gpt can be used for 3d content generation the company created an ai generation extension in nvidia omniverse now let's watch the video to understand what it is capable of as you can see in the demo in nvidia omniverse they marked an area in a warehouse using a spline and they are going to use ai in order to generate some objects in a warehouse so generate generate room add common items that can be found in a warehouse and then he is going to click on generate and as you can see just by a click of a button the software is going to generate some objects that are available in a warehouse in the next part of this example he wants to add some reception area objects that are commonly available in a reception area of a warehouse or a office add common items that would be found in a warehouse now he is going to change the prompt and write reception area and then as you can see in the next part it added some objects that are available in a reception area the next project i am going to talk about is called spline.design spline ai so basically it has many tools and you can visit the website and see some of the examples of what all you can do using spline ai Let's try this 3D text blue. So let's browse through the example. You can make these kind of text using AI. Let's see the video. So there is an animation in the text, and there are shadows, etc. Now let's see some of the more examples and an introduction video to Spline AI. Make 20 random cubes. So it makes 20 random cubes. moving all the masks rotate all the meshes so whatever you write in this uh, software it's going to do that all the 3d work using ai make it spin faster so all this that is being written in as a prompt is being done by the ai itself almost there make all the spheres replace the spheres by cubes use a pastel pink color and rotate them use a golden texture now let's check some of the other examples so let's click on car camping physics and click on the play button to watch the demo so you can imagine uh, what all you can do with this let's go back and maybe purple 3d icons or component ui let's check out component ui and the same thing again so we can click uh, browse through the buttons you can when you hover on the button it will respond in this way you can make these kind of ui design then sell it also but you need to get access to the ai version of spline now let's go back and let's click on get started and then click on join the waitlist 
join the wait list you need to submit your details so just fill in the details and click on submit and you will get an email once uh, they accept your request to join the waitlist this was it for the video if you liked the video subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video